Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Raging Your Doomstack video covering a Helmengorst uh, Zombie Apocalypse Doomstack here. So this save file was sent in by Akoi. If you haven't seen his video on the 19 uh, Zombies uh, video that he made, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check that out. If you haven't subscribed to him, go and do that. He's a good dude. Um, but yeah, he sent in this uh, Doomstack for me to rate. And... Uh, Helmand Gorst boosts zombies by a ridiculous degree, and when we come out of this battle, we'll showcase um, exactly what he's doing. Now, the thing is, we win in order resolve here, but this was the strongest of Greece's army. I could actually get them to attack us. I gave him 75,000 gold so he could recruit more units, and he just wouldn't do it. And um, he was willing to come at us with half this amount of force even though he would lose in order resolve on very hard battle difficulty, right? I tried setting it to easy battle difficulty so that it would increase my balance of power strength against him and he would still attack. So it was very difficult to uh, to actually uh, get them to like send a ridiculous amount of force. But the reason why we want to go after Greasus is because I can't wind of death ogre bulls. They're just not affected by it that much. So the zombies here actually need to win the battle outright. Now, Kelman Gorse is able to provide uh, some benefit by being a unholy lodestone corpse cart and a mortis engine simultaneously. But what I'm going to try and do here is rely as much as possible on the zombies as we can and see what they can manage to overcome. It's stupidly strong in order resolve because the AI completely underestimates it, but Let's see how good it is in manually resolve in a, on very hard battle difficulty. Now, the thing is, with this, I could see you making this a little bit better with some items. So, uh, stuff like the brass cleaver, gr glittering scales. You know, if you had a another single entity a ca character into the army, whether it be I don't know, a white king or another necromancer. You don't really need another necromancer. Um... A vampire something like that banshee maybe putting that into the army so that you can get um, those those equipment I reckon that could make this more useful the only thing if you're gonna use a blob with this you got to be uh, really careful against um, magic and uh, like artillery but if the enemy brought something like that you could just not blob up but in this army here the enemy doesn't really have anything to worry about so we need to yeah, look at that. Bouncer power seems even. But yeah, the AI just underestimates this army so much. It's really hard to get a uh, fight in. So, some of the effects that um, Helmen Gorse does, he increases the speed of all units in the army. So these these um, zombies are actually faster than dwarfs now. That's sort of an average sort of speed for most infantry in the game. Sort of middle of the rung. Uh, he increases their melee attack faction wide. He gives them ward save, physical resistance 20%. Um, 500% extra regen cap, and then there's plus 50% on top of that. So, we'll be able to just keep regenerating over and over again. Because one of the problems if you're doing this in Warhammer 2, right, is that these guys have a lot of health, but they die really quickly. And also, the they hit point regeneration isn't, uh, um, percentage. So, using a Nahek or some sort of regen on zombies, it's just sort of wasted. Whereas, on Warhammer 3, because it's percentage-based and they have a lot of health, you can really make use of it. But let's just see how it goes against Ogres and Greases Goldtooth. Let's we'll see. Just hobble along. Let's have a look and see how this goes. So yeah, I'm not going to send Helmand Gorst in to activate his Mortis Engine effect. The only thing he's going to be doing is providing buffs. So we can do uh, Van Hell's Dance Macabre to get extra melee attack. Don't have an enormous amount of wins. This ability here, which you only get two uses of. Wait, it's it. Yeah, you only get two uses of it. Um, that generates some more reserves. But yes, attack of the blob again. So they're on the attack in this situation, but I think they're waiting for their reinforcements, which is fine. We'll let them do that. I'm just going to get most of the way there. If we really want to fight them well, we should do that in the forest here, because they'll lose 20% of their melee attack, where we won't get any stat reductions. But since the AI refused to send a larger army at us, um, I will just allow them to, to not take that debuff. Now, pretty much under no circumstance in Warhammer 2 would a zombie army be able to overcome this. Especially on very hard battle difficulty, which this I have set it on. Even if they did have max experience. Which the experience is providing 
Only three melee attack and melee defense. So yeah, we're not going to rely on Helmon Gorse for dishing out damage. He's just going to buff them. The zombies... Yeah, what we want here is Helmon Gorse to dish out no damage in the battle. So yeah, he's got Master of the Dead, Unholy Lodestone. Doesn't he have... Another one? From being a Mortis Engine. Okay, yeah, he's got the Reliquary Corruption. That's which comes from being a Mortis Engine. Okay. Vigor Mortis. That's actually been buffed. It reduces their Vigor per second, so that keeps them nice and fresh. About as fresh as you can keep a zombie anyway. So they're on the attack, but they're just dicking around. Alright, I'll allow them to completely surround me, and we'll see how this goes. As soon as they actually feel like attacking. So, Greasus himself has magical attacks, so that'll bypass physical resistance, but not ward save. But yeah, normally what you do if you went up against something with a lot of infantry, you'd still just use Wind of Death. Now, here's the thing about Wind of Death that people say that it's been nerfed a lot. The regular Wind of Death is 24 damage per second. But when you overcast it, it more than doubles. Winds of Death upgraded is only 12 Winds of Magic with Helm and Gorse. That's really cheap. <laughs> Should I do it on my own units? Nah, no, not right now. If the battle goes really well, maybe we'll do that. He's also got more access to Awaken from the Grave. In Warhammer 2, you'd only get two of those. Whenever you're ready, Grixis, I'm trying not to stand on the high ground either. Allowing you to have the high ground. <laughs> Give you every advantage you possibly can. You know, this isn't a disaster battle. Bounce of power was not that bad. But the fact that a zombie army can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with ogre bulls is ridiculous. They outnumber us as well. And he's got iron guts. Also, this army only costs like 400 gold. That's just utterly ridiculous. And the fact that all of these buffs that Helmand Gorse is doing, they're all global, so most of your other lords could probably do this as well. Just, like, stick a corpse card in there. Or, a yeah, have it commanded by necromancers. So it's not even, like, this is exclusive to Helm and Gorst. This is weird. They're on the attack, and they're just not doing anything. Alright, well then, I'll do something. The AI is very passive. Okay, here we go. And we'll see how they go. So, Helmand Gorst, your job is just provide regen. That's it. And yeah, no defense for yourself. And try to get him to do absolutely no damage whatsoever. All right. So, so far we're not taking very much damage. I'm not dishing out much damage either. Trying to see how much regeneration they get per tick, it's pretty ridiculous. I wish I could see exactly how much we could potentially regenerate, but it doesn't show that anymore. I last for battle. So that there gets the uh, zombies. <laughs> Fast for a zombie. <laughs> oh, right, that's all of his different names, right. Right, right, right. Um, 66 melee attack there. The power is Again, if we had the Brass Cleaver, it'd go up even more. Another one that would be good is Warrior Bane. Do same weapon strength. So there's, um, there's Greasius. So, yeah, what we want to do here is make sure that Hillman Ghost dishes out absolutely zero damage. The zombies need to win this on their own. With... What I mean by on their own, they need to dish out all the damage. I'm just going to buff them. That's it. With haste. See, normally what I would have done in Warhammer 2 is the zombies would just air as meat shields. Oh my god, we're just not taking damage. And don't forget, every time we cast something, we get, um, we activate, uh, what's it called? Curse of the Undeath and we revive a bunch of them. 
Quatsch. So yeah. Look at that, look at that freaking regen rate. Holy crap. Look at that greasus idiot is just getting wrecked by zombies. This is on very hard battle difficulty. a little bit laggy because of the blob. Jeez. This could very easily have taken on a second group of these uh, these units. Because we're not even close to our regen cap, I don't think. Because, yeah, Hellman Gorse boosts uh, Van Hell's Darth Macabre by an absolute ton. Yeah, Greases is down. You know, these guys here have the high ground advantage against zombies. I mean, they're only ogre bulls. It's not like they're iron guts or anything. They're, there are some iron guts in there. How are they doing? Or are they already dead? Good iron guts. These are dual weapons. Are they, I'm just trying to find the... Oh, there they are. So the iron guts managed to dish out 1,000 damage so far. But they're still holding on. How much... How much are, like... Armor piercing do we have? Not much. Elman Ghost. Yeah, this is ridiculous. So yeah, CA have taken away skeleton spamming and made zombie spamming way better than skeleton spamming ever was. This is like, this is like you wouldn't be able to do this in Warhammer 2 with skeleton spam either. You'd have to use magic. The whole that's the whole point of it. And if you ever look at the upkeep cost, it's like dirt cheap. This is zombies. is not taking damage because yeah they've also got the uh, raven is dead so they heal uh, while in melee they're they're getting the unholy lodestone and master of the dead got essentially 30% resistance to all their attacks and once again Hellman Gorse oh no I actually did some damage um, someone must have come and touched me I didn't mean to do that because he's a um, water center. Of but if you have a look, the, the zombies are dishing out damage. Who's dishing out the most? It's just a little bit slow, that's all. 8,000 damage done by the zombie unit. It's almost full strength. But yeah, if you were going up against something like um, Malekith or whatever, if they're going to pop down like Blade Wind, you'd probably not want to blob up. The thing is, if he did pop it down, you could regenerate them very quickly. You know, just because of the thing on the heck. It's not like it's an expensive spell. Let's see how much a single Nehek can heal here. Oh, we can actually see how much it can heal. Look, <laughs> it gave us a number, but we just... I gotta get Nehek back. 
Now this one here's taking it. Oh yeah, because it's by itself. Well, let's see how much it can do. This isolated zombie unit. Let's see what it can do. Because yeah, it's not getting boosted by Helm and Gorse by being away from that. That's why the blob is so important. Get all them boosts. As you say. So yeah, if I take Helm and Gorse and hover over any of them. Oh my god, look at that. Can replenish 112... No! Can replenish 1.12 million more hit points. No way. That doesn't... That can't be right. This just can't be right. Hang on. It says it's the same thing for all of them. Can they just be healed infinitely? Let's see. Okay, let's see. With this one here specifically, how much can we heal this one? This one here is taking the most amount of damage. What I'll do is if the battle ends, I'll actually start Wind of Deathing it and healing it. I want to see how much it can heal. Do, do they ever actually die, or has it reached a point where it's actually immortal? Rise, rise, rise! Ah, ah. Swiftly! It's getting beat up a bit quick. When it runs Very out, I'll just pop well. this down and give us a um, decrease cooldown. I will raise them! Like, are these guys actually immortal essentially do they just not run out because if it was at 500 percent like i'd expect it to be in the tens of there's the army losses i'd expect it to be in the tens of thousands i wouldn't have expected it to be in the millions it must be bugged hang on let's have a look let's have a look i gotta see if there is actually a cap to this it's just too ridiculous so what we need to do now is wind of death our own unit no other way for me to damage it and then heal it get, over here, get close to ghost thing is though, I'm gonna run out of magic <laughs> how much regen do you want to have That gives me an extra nine back. Alright, damage it again. Oh, hang on, let's just heal it first. Alright, pop it down. Still not at its max heals. The night is ours. Yeah, look, it, it did go down, compared to others. Only by like a absolute fraction. If oh. you insist. <laughs> what is going on with these zombies? They could just keep healing just endlessly. Like, I need to get into a, a uh, longer battle, but yeah, their endurance is absolutely absurd. That The fact that you just keep healing them. Um, I didn't have enough magic to actually uh, dish out damage for long enough to see what their regen cap was. It's just absolutely absurd. It's, it's got to be bugged in some way. Because, yeah, we'll go through a Helm and Gore skill tree and see what's going on there. But even... Even then, it doesn't seem like... Like, that's too much. So, what I think we'll do... Send it over there. I need to test it out a little bit further. I gotta know how far we can push these zombies.
So yeah, Grease just ran off. Don't be shy now. Okay, I gotta, I gotta test this out. So if we attack this settlement here, we could probably get the towers to like just pound down on a unit, and we just keep healing it, and just see how how much it can actually regenerate before it actually gets killed. Death. So yeah, let's have a look at the skills here. So you've got Path to Ruin there for extra speed. Melee attack for zombies or armies faction wise. That's what I'm saying. You don't even need Helm and Gorse. This is for everybody. You just have to have Helm and Gorse. Ward save for zombie units or armies faction wide. Battle healing cap plus 500% for zombie units faction wide. But you've also got battle healing cap plus 50%. I gotta wonder is the plus 500% a modifier on a modifier, right? So what if. What if that plus 500% is modifying on something that's already at like 125%? So it's getting something ridiculous. And then you got Ever Onward there, which makes it easier to pop down uh, Van Hell's Dance Macabre. And if we have a look here, where are they getting that physical resistance from? The zombies. Where'd they get that from? Was that just his trait? Armor for zombies and Cryptical. Where are you getting that from is it where is that uh, Legion of the Dead is that where it's coming from then no, that's the uh, spell resistance where are you getting all that damn wood save for zombies Oh, it increases the effect range of those abilities. Oh, that's good. That's actually good now. That's a big buff. No, it's not there. That's that's good. That's good, but that's not where it's coming from. Effect range plus 50% on that. That's good. Man, this is like a huge buff for Gorse. Holy crap. Oh, may oh I, I think I know. It might be in the tech tree. There it is. Physical resistance for zombie units. Right, of course. And then you've got plus 100% battle healing cap for zombie units there. So, they should be... If we add up all the, the bonuses, it should be at something like 650%. Which means you could restore its health about... About five times. Because it's supposed to be 75% of their health. But what if the modifier is acting on a modifier? What if... What if this is happening, right? What if you're getting battle healing cap plus 50%? Or what if it's doing this? Uh, plus 100%, right? So instead of 75%, it becomes 150%, right? And then you add an additional 50% on that, bringing it to, I don't know, 225. And then you add 500% on that, making it 1,000%. Because we don't know the exact number. But even at 1,000%, it can't possibly generate a million hit points. So what we're going to do here is we're going to attack this. this i got to get to the bottom of this. We're going to jump into this one. And just have a zombie unit tank s ridiculous amounts of damage. I'm just going to keep healing it. We've got to find out if there's a limit. <laughs> it's got to be a limit to this. Because, yeah, if there isn't, then you could just sit in a blob and just use your passive heals while they're in melee. And just, if you need to revive any of them, don't worry about using Nehek. Use your cheapest spell. Um, which is uh, Van Hell's Dance Macabre. Don't even overcast it, just regular cast it for three wins of magic. You can get like 30, 40 uses out of that in a single battle. That's ridiculous. God, you could take out four full stacks as, as long as there's not like massive amounts of like really fast damage dealing. Okay, we'll take a unit that's at full strength, this one here. Get all these back. All right, we got we got to go to the bottom bottom of this. There's, there's something something's off here. So when we look at this, it says it can heal 1.129 million hit points. Right? That can't be right. So <coughs> what we want to do here? I don't want to do any damage to their units. I just want them to do damage to us. Are we damaging them? No, that's it. So just move back and forth. And take ass loads of damage. Yeah, 
right, we're, we're taking damage pretty quickly, so we'll need to use the heck there. <laughs> there's gotta be. Surely there's a limit to how much they can heal. Surely. So yeah, it's getting the master of the dead and stuff there. The night is ours. They will suffer. Didn't mind the uh, damage going down a little bit slower. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Speed that up. Just use all my magic on healing this one zombie. I gotta see if there's a limit to how much they can heal. They're doing damage pretty quick there. But they're still affected by all of Helm and Gore's stuff. Okay, Tower's now shooting at us. That's good, I guess. Don't, don't fight Kilman Ghost. Don't fight Kilman Ghost. Okay, then it's getting a bit damaged. Kilman Ghost. Yeah, so all those abilities increasing the effect of these ones here. That's really bloody good. Man, this is one of the biggest bloody boosts to a character I've ever seen. I don't know if it's quite as big as Malagor's boost, but it's definitely on tier. You know, when he got his up update. So, yeah, we've only done a little bit of damage to them because I just got to keep moving. Although, now that towers are shooting at us, maybe, maybe we should get rid of these now so that we can have a chance to fully heal. Because otherwise, it's going to get wiped out without me fully testing how much it can do. Yeah, as long as it's got all these buffs in here for regen. So, it's currently at, like, max health. Alright, so what we could do here... Yeah, just use Invocation of the Egg. Okay. Let's get it back up to full health. And see how much it's actually, uh, like, the health rate is decayed. But, like, the maximum health we can get. Because uh, it can't possibly be 1.12 million. That's just way too high. It, it hasn't gone down. It, I think it's just bugged out. Like, 1.12... Eight. If we ever look at one of the other ones, see, it's all the same for them as well. Yeah, I might need to. Uh, no, don't, don't. Let's back off a little bit. I don't want to be dishing out too much damage to them because otherwise we'll win the battle. <laughs> It's okay if the towers are shooting at us because it's a slow amount of damage. I just don't want to take damage too quickly, and I also don't want to damage them too quickly either. Let's get over here. What the fuck is going on here? So, according to this, yeah, it can heal. See, that number isn't even going down. It is, just ridiculously slowly. It just doesn't make sense. So, if I have a look over here, 1.128218. It's the same, but we haven't done any healing on them, so that can't be right. I think it's bugged out with that. What it could be doing is adding up the total amount we can heal, maybe. But at least we're getting shot by towers here now. And we can just keep regenerating without any actual casualties. That's what we need. We need, like, maximum towers shooting at us. I wish the game would be a little bit more transparent to see how much we can uh, actually heal. Because, yeah, I don't think that's correct. But already, we've healed them like five times over. At least. It's just fucking ridiculous. Let the zombie take the damage. Try to 
get it back up to full numbers. Cool. Uh, yeah, because what I'm trying to do here is just get all the towers to shoot at it, but I've only got one tower shooting at us there. Don't shoot at Helmand Gorst. Oh my god, this is utterly ridiculous. Like, when I saw 500%, I was like, oh yeah, you know, zombies are pretty weak, 500%. You know, that'll give them a lot of extra longevity, but this is more than 500%. This is like... Eternal life zombies. Like they actually can't be properly wiped out. They're actually immortal. This is like the equivalent of that zero HP orc bullshit that you can do with uh, Grimgore with the, the immortals. Where, as long as their leadership is above, I don't know, 80 or something, um, by just stacking confident heroes, they just, um, they never actually die. Bring him in over here. Put him out in the open so they can get shot by towers. And then Helmand Gorse just heals him with his abilities. Passively. That way we don't have to use up Winds of Magic. And we just see... <laughs> at what point does this fucking thing run out of health? They don't, they don't get what we're trying to do here. <laughs> Leave us alone, boy. You don't get what's going on. They just keep lining up to die. It's fine. As long as, long as we don't get, inflict the army losses, maybe I should withdraw a lot of my units so that we don't inflict the, the army losses. On them. Take damage pretty quick, right? Here you go. Slow down a little bit. So this one zombie unit has so far inflicted 18,000 damage, which includes fighting, you know, ogres. And they've just been sitting there tanking damage. Send everything over here. I need to withdraw more of them. I will bathe in that blood. Or else we're just gonna win. Because we've withdrawn a bunch of them, maybe that'll change what the uh, outlook is on this. With haste. I should have waited. Death to war. This one zombie is going to take out the whole friggin' army. Not that it was a big army, but still. For a zombie unit, it's just, it's just absurd. <laughs> Alright, come on. Alright, let's see here. If I go like that now... It still says... 1 point friggin' 1, 2 million! But when I go to these ones over here... It says the same thing. It's like, why is their regeneration going down? It shouldn't be. Okay, I need to withdraw these two now. At least we've got the bounce of power here. Thanks for not being on Legendary. So that, so that we can actually not uh, make silly judgments. Uh, just let him go, let him go. Oh my god, what the hell are we seeing here? This is ridiculous. I can't withdraw any more units. Just keep those towers shooting at us. Uh, I'm happy for them to just sit there. Yeah, how about let them shoot us for a bit? Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna run out of magic. Before this one here ends up dead. Is this one's dishing out lots of damage to us. No, no sign of that line. <laughs> just, oh my god, this is just so beyond ridiculous for a zombie unit. The upkeep cost on the zombie is eight. Is that the last of their troops? I think it might be, yeah. Well, I'm running pretty low on magic anyway. The only way that this one will run out of healing is if I run... Yeah, we won the entire battle with just one unit of zombies. It did... 35... Sorry, 37,000 damage. We are dead. They're actually immortal. I healed it so many times. And even the can replenish amount, it only went down by a couple of thousand. Like, we healed it way more than what it thinks it did. Something's bugged out here where this, these zombies are actually... Uh, they're, the only way to kill them is to kill them quickly. Or to kill the spellcaster or something like that. Get them to, to run out, because otherwise their regen is just... It's just unstoppable. There shall be darkness. That is just beyond ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's only purely victory because I withdrew, you know, most of my army. Right. <laughs> so one zombie just did that much damage. So, rating this. I'm going to rate this as ABC over 1, 2, 3 because this has got to be bugged. It's essentially 10 out of 10 because even if you went up against something like Hellstorm rocket batteries or, you know, something that was doing immense amounts of damage you could just keep recovering from it, potentially. As long as you've got some Winds of Magic Reserves, um, unless you, you blob up and deliberately fuck up, this army is basically unkillable. Like, you've got to try to get damage done for it to actually uh, to die. I don't know how much more it could have taken on, but, you know, it seemed like a lot more. I'd be curious to test it out with, like, Helm and Gorse with even more winds of magic. Let me let me just check something, right? I don't doubt that. Because I don't think he's done his victory conditions, has he? If we go to victory conditions here, not that one. Winds of magic power reserve capacity plus thirty-five percent. I thought he was supposed to um I thought the zombie uh the vampire counts was supposed to get um Winds of magic cost reduction, but anyway, let's just say hypothetically you had 200 winds of magic, right? And it use that all on healing on one unit. Maybe, maybe then you'd reach a cap. I don't know, but that one, we must have healed it 10 times over, because it was passively regenerating, plus it was getting the hex. And it, did, it said it wasn't even close, but yeah, it's basically 10 out of 10. Um, it's just absurdly strong. And especially considering in Warhammer 3, the AI just doesn't really throw that much at you. Um, they're not going to have that much excessive damage dealing. This will take on just about everything. And the, the greatest thing about it is that the AI completely underestimates it. You know, it doesn't think it's anywhere near as strong as it is. It's... it's ridiculous. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. I don't know much more I could do to test this, to, to stress test it. It's just absurd. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.